With travel and shipping becoming ever more important, the use of airplanes are increasing every year. And while it is extremely useful to get basically anywhere in the world in under 24 hours, the emissions from planes constitute about 3% of the world global emissions. Reducing carbon emissions would be a massive step towards a cleaner, greener future. But due to the design of airplanes, this is fairly tricky to do. Some believe that battery-powered airplanes are the future, however I think that's a little optimistic. Even with massive breakthroughs in battery technology, they still do not have the capacity to store enough energy for commercial aircraft. Though a new company called SE Aeronautics is looking to dramatically increase efficiency in airplanes rather than pursuing battery technology. In theory, the idea is fantastic. Radically redesign the plane so it uses 70% less fuel than traditional planes. On paper, they claim to achieve that goal, creating a plane that not only burns less fuel, but drops its carbon emissions by 82%. Such a drop in emissions would be revolutionary. Let's take a look at how they plan to accomplish this. The first thing that stands out quite dramatically is the three sets of wings that this aircraft has. If you look closely, you can tell they are much thinner than conventional airline wings. By increasing the amount, but decreasing the size, the wings produce much less drag. This was achieved by moving the fuel, which is normally stored in a wings, to a bladder above the cabin. A bit of a questionable placement in my opinion, however it does achieve the goal. The next is the way the fuselage is made. Instead of panels of composite material, they have opted for a single molded piece. This makes construction more difficult, but increases the strength and longevity of the aircraft. Though the main change they have made is to the jet engines. It is unclear how or what they changed, though they claim that alongside the other changes, the engines will use 71% less fuel. An impressive claim, especially because they also say it will fly at speeds just below Mach 1. Let's compare this SE200 to a Boeing 747 to get a better understanding of the specs. The 747 can carry 366 passengers and fly 15,000 kilometers. To do so, it needs about a quarter million liters of fuel. Taking into account both the passengers and the distance it can fly, the 747 can reach 22 passenger kilometers per liter. The SC200 can carry 264 passengers and can fly 16,000 kilometers. They claim it will use 84,000 liters of fuel to fly that far. To put that into perspective, if the SC200 carried the quarter million liters of fuel that the 747 carried, it could make it all the way around the Earth. Due to the massive fuel reduction, the SE200 achieves 50 passenger kilometers per liter. So, when passengers are factored into the equation, the SE200 is 2.3 times as efficient. The impact on global emissions would be noticeable with full implementation of these planes. The yearly fuel consumption of airplanes worldwide would drop from 370 billion liters to 106 billion liters. Doing so would lead to a reduction from 950 million tons of CO2 to 165 million tons of CO2. This would certainly not eradicate carbon emissions, however it would significantly drop it to a much more manageable level. Though there are some issues with these planes, which I am sure you have already found. Firstly, wings on normal aircraft are much thicker and have both the weight of the jet engine and fuel to counteract the bending forces of the lift being produced. But with the fuel and jet engines being moved to the fuselage, as well as the wings being very thin, it means the wings must be extremely strong. Even with the weight spread across three wings, it will still require very strong materials. Next is the placement of the fuel bladder above the cabin. If the aircraft was to crash and the bladder rupture, the cabin would flood with jet fuel, and I'm sure you can see the problem with that. Airplanes are a fantastic way to travel and transport goods. However, with the industry growing year over year, well, except for this year, newer, more efficient planes are a necessity for a cleaner future. While this plane certainly has some flaws, it will be interesting to see what happens to it and other planes in the years to come. Until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing, 
and I will see you all soon with a brand new video.